Here we have quiz four, which is gonna be on multiplying with partial products and uh, with and without regrouping. Let's go ahead and get it done. Five times 206. Well, five times 200 is 1,000, and five times six is 30. 1,000 plus 30 is 1,030. Partial products. Well, let's see. I know that four times three is 12, because that is three ones, right? And then 280 is four times seven tens. So with partial products, we end up, let me zoom in a little bit, with 292. This is where I need to start being very cautious because I'm feeling confident, which means I need to not get overconfident. Um, 900 or 90, I'm sorry, times two is 180, plus 14 is 194. Or 18, 19, yes. Lori tried to evaluate 8,092 times six using partial products. Her work is shown below. Step one, 48, oh, six times eight thousands, okay, is 48,000, that's good. Six times zero hundreds is zero. Not necessarily a, a vital step in my opinion, but it's not wrong. Step three, six times nine tens is 540. And then six times two ones is 12. Uh, it looks to me like the everything there is fine, but it can't possibly be right because this two here, which is correct, right? Six times two is indeed 12. It should be carried here. So something happened in the addition. I'm not sure exactly what. Maybe they added 120 instead of 12 or something like that. But it is in step five, the final total. And again, very important to note, if I was a teacher, if I was a teacher, um, and I saw this problem and someone gave me these steps, and this was a five point problem, and they ended up getting 56, 650 because of a arithmetic error, I would probably give them the full five out of five. I would note the error, but like, it's clear that this student understands the concept, right? It's clear that this student understands what to do. Mistakes shouldn't be viewed as um, at the same magnitude as a, a full lack of understanding. Step five. 5,272 times four. They're gonna end this quiz with a nasty one, fine. We're gonna do this one traditional way. Four times two is eight, four times seven is 28. The two goes over here. Um, four times two is eight and two is 10, 21,088. And that's the thing going to be a little bit more than yes that's the thing about that it it's not actually that impressive to be able to do that kind of multiplication that quickly it's literally just a matter of me having so much repetitive practice that i can do it very very quickly and often without a whole lot of errors right i mean i do make errors you see them all the time on this stream but again it's, it's really important to note that that is part of the learning process you make those mistakes and move forward, as we are going to do now. Into the unit test.